What's going on guys, Billy here, and for years I've wanted to get into 3D printing, but there always seem to be some barriers in my way. Things like ease of setup, ease of use, and cost. There seemed to be this large skill gap when getting into 3D printing, so I sat on the sidelines and watched technology improve over the years. That is until I found the Anchor M5C, and this has completely changed my view on 3D printing as someone that is a complete beginner, as this was easy to set up, it's easy to use, and it's also super affordable for what you get. Now you may have been able to tell from the title and from my little intro there that I don't have much experience with 3D printers. I of course understand the concept behind them and have many friends that use printers on the daily, but I've never made the jump in because of the reasons that I listed right off of the bat. My main reason for wanting a 3D printer was to make accessories for my drones, experiment with different tools, and maybe even print some little accessories and gadgets that I could use around my apartment. It's pretty crazy to think that within hours you can have almost any tangible object printed from your computer or from your phone from this 3D printer right here. And as a beginner, I've really enjoyed using the M5C here because of its reliability and the print quality. Over about the past month that I've had this thing, it's spent most of its time sitting here in my kitchen because I barely cook and I haven't been able to find a better spot for it. But from here, I've printed things that have an actual use in my life and have printed some other things more so just for fun and testing purposes. Like the first thing that I did was print a stand for my one wheel so that I could have it sitting up off of the floor when it's charging. Something else that I've been wanting is little stick guards for my RC Pro, the controller that I use with my DJI Mavic 3 Pro. This is something I probably could have bought online for, say, 20 bucks and waited a few days for, but instead I was able to find a file online, download it to my computer, and print out two of these within an hour to start using immediately. From here, I've also printed some tiny little test pieces like a little boat, the Manhattan skyline, the Comcast Tower from Philly, a set of life-sized hand sculptures, really anything that I thought was appealing and would give this printer a challenge, all of which it handled really well. This here is really the only major mess up that I had. This was supposed to be my one wheel stand, but as you can see, the print shifted as it was trying to print out and left me with this, which was basically just a bunch of wasted filament. This was a 15 hour print job, so I had to go to sleep. And when I woke up, I came out to this, so I just stopped the job, restarted, and my next print was perfect. It was flawless. Other than that, though, the print quality has been great, even on the more intricate pieces like the Comcast Tower or all the little buildings that that make up New York City. There is some serious detail here and the printer did a really good job at handling the small details. With this being my first printer, I don't have much to compare to, but if you're in a position like myself where you might be looking for your first 3D printer, you're going to be more than happy with the results from the Anchor Make M5C. Okay, so the prints are great and that's probably priority number one when discussing a 3D printer. Like as long as the prints come out good, then it's probably a good 3D printer. We'll discuss more about these prints a little bit later in the video because now I want to touch on the actual print itself because the Anchor Make M5C has made things so easy and I really do credit this printer for allowing me to get my feet wet because again of its ease of use. So the setup is super smooth. Everything is tightly packed inside of the box with these big directions sitting right on top. All the pieces under here are lighter and protected in this foam so I'd recommend having a good amount of room to get everything out and set up. Once you have everything out there are really only three main steps that you need to follow. Mount this upright piece to the base, mount the filament holster to the top, and then use your phone to set up the printer. Everything that you need is included and all the little intricate pieces are already mounted. Like the printer head is on there, the nozzle is mounted, the wiring is all set so you just have to plug and play. And for the small work that you have to do, there's a nice toolkit included. This is a stark comparison to other printers out there that come shipped in a box in dozens of pieces. The wires are separate, the head is separate, the nozzle is separate, everything is all separate. So you've got to assemble everything. Whereas this quite literally takes 15 minutes to put together and get up and running. So the ease of setup is perfect. Now, something else that's really great about this printer is the companion app that it comes with, which really is the secret sauce. This here is really the main way that you're going to be interfacing with the printer. You can do things like check the status of a current print, monitor the heat of the nozzle and bed. You can move the actual printer head if necessary. You can perform specific required maintenance tasks. You can find things to print and send files to the printer, and you'll get notifications if the printer incurs an error or when it finishes a job amongst other things. The most powerful way to interact with this printer though is through the 
Anchor Make app for your computer. You can do most of the important things that the app on your phone can do, like monitor the progress of your prints, check on the temperature of the nozzle and bed, but the biggest difference is the slicer tab that lets you open print files to manipulate. This opens the door to find prints that others have made online, bring them into the Anchor Make software, and tweak them or print them as is. Now to take a few steps back, the build quality of the M5C is really impeccable. I don't use that word all that often, but everything is metal, everything is tightly locked into place. So when you're going and actually making a print and this printer head is moving like crazy, you don't get any wobble, which is going to lead to nice high quality prints. The high quality build really was evident from the start when I was setting everything up as it requires a lot of screws to really tighten everything together. Again, giving you one nice solid piece. Now the seven by seven auto leveling bed is also large enough to print most of the things that you might make and you have plenty of room upwards to make taller prints, kind of like the Comcast tower that I made. It also prints super fast. It's kind of mesmerizing to just sit there and watch the head fly around making something out of seemingly nothing. Speaking of those prints, I actually put together some time lapses of some of the different things that I built and it's so fascinating to see the thing that you're printing be made seemingly out of thin air. I think this one of the Comcast tower was the best because the bed didn't need to move as much which resulted in a better looking time lapse. Nonetheless, it really is fascinating to watch the printer head move and just build something out of this filament that's stored at the top. So if you're someone that's looking to get your feet wet with 3D printing, the Anchor Make M5C couldn't be a better choice. Again, as somebody that is just getting into this, this checked all the boxes for me. Easy to set up, easy to use, and it's also affordable. $399 for this. You get this excellent build quality with excellent print quality for a very affordable price. It really is hard to beat. And it's cool now because that I have this and that I've been using it, my mindset has kind of changed. Like now if I need something like a computer holder or like a one wheel stand, or again, anything around my apartment, my initial thought is, oh, can I 3D print that, right? So it's kind of something that's fun, but also it is very useful to have around the house. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on the Anchor Make M5C down below in the comments. And as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.